Are you ready for some housekeeping confessions? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Want to hear a scary story? Shh, we wrote one. It comes out this fall. Be the first to read it by pre-ordering The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek. Now at bleakcreek.com. Yes. Uh, germs are like a mother's love. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Huh. And just like a mother's love, you can't get away from it even if you tried. Oh, even if you travel to a faraway hotel? Mm, yeah. Hotel? Cause I got news for you. Hotel rooms are dirtier than you think. But don't take our word for it. Cause today we're all gonna hear some confessions from housekeeping staff at various hotels. It's time for Nate's Monday Hotel Gonna Warn Ya. Such a filthy place. Such a filthy place. We are gonna be competing against each other and at the top of each round, we're gonna hear an actual confession from an actual hotel housekeeper Ooh. and that actual confession may or may not be delivered dramatically by a mythical team member. Shh. Some of the key words are gonna be missing from that confession, however, and we have to write down those words on our whiteboards. Points will increase each round. And the loser will be joining a local cleaning company for a day which will be documented on Instagram. Hmm. Let's take a look at the first confession. This one is from an anonymous maid who wrote this confession on the Whisper app. I work at a hotel, and I strongly recommend to always bring your own blank. We never wash the blank. Oh, strongly right, it's... Never wash the blank. Are both blanks the same? Nope, no clarifying questions, but I think so. <laughs> okay, never but I'm wash. still gonna write it twice. Of course. What do they never wash at the hotel? This is, I didn't want to do this episode because I want to still be able to go to hotels. That's well, okay, you just bring your own. <gasps> okay. All right, I've thought a lot about this thing. I don't know if you can watch this Already? Thing, but this is what I'm writing, so. I have my answer. And I have mine. You go first. Uh, I was gonna say, always bring your own pillow. We never wash the pillow. Oh, really? But they wash the pillow case, man. But the pillow. You know about pillows and how much crap they harbor? Oh, that could be right. But I said coffee pot. Oh. We never wash the coffee pot. Cause what, what do they got, mm. dish detergent in there? There's no, there's just a sink in the bathroom I guess they could use. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say there's no sink either. Uh, Not in the hotel rooms I go to. What is the real answer? The correct answer it's is. Ellie. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a pillow. <laughs> they never wash the pillows, which, and I'll say that I didn't know you could wash pillows. Yeah, I didn't what? know you could wash pillows either. But the pillowcase, that's like the, well, the flimsy cotton that you can you replace from anything. pillows. Yes. The fact is, is that the slobber and the head Dang liquids it. of all the people who've stayed at a hotel before you go into the pillow mm. and then you just absorb that's, it back into your head. Yeah. And then your head liquids go into another pillow. Uh, and the pillows suck anyway. So that's the second reason I'm bringing my own pillow from now on. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, next up, this one's from Jacob Tomsky, a former hotel housekeeper who wrote a tell-all book about the secrets of the hotel business. So some housekeepers will wash the glasses in the sink with hot water and blank, but many of them use blank because it leaves the glasses spot-free. So this sounds like the first part is like, this hot is what water, you would expect. Hot water and but blank. No. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Uh, I don't really have a better guess than this. Seems horrible though. Uh, I'll go. I'll go first this time. Okay, go ahead. Um, they wash them with hot water and soap, but many of them use spit because it leaves the glasses spot free. You think spit leaves glasses spot free? I mean, uh, yeah. I also said soap, but I also said Windex. Oh. Because Windex leaves windows spot free and they have window cleaner. That's a better answer than spit. <laughs> Let's find out. Hey. Oh, it's Matt. <laughs> Hi, I'm new. So, <laughs> so some housekeepers will wash the glasses in the sink with hot water and shampoo, but, but many of them use furniture polish because it leaves the glasses spot free. Okay, now Matt, you've got a decision to make. First of all, you need to just say what you think about this. <laughs> This sounds horrible. Well, first of all, I do think that spit 
would also leave the glasses spot free. <laughs> then I don't want to hear what It's you called think. a spit shine. People do it all the time. Yeah. You can wash oh, your hey. windows. Spit is way closer to polish than Windex. That's spit all shine. I gotta say. Okay. But at the same time, uh, Windex is also a cleaning fluid that would you would use usually not for drinking out of right. and for windows instead. Right. So I, I gotta give it to Link. Oh! Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I'm gonna be spit shining your shoes later. <laughs> oh, that's how this works. Yeah, I bribed him. All right, what's the next one? Okay. Next up, we have a maid. Shampoo. First of all, washing your cups with shampoo is also crazy. Not really that gross. Weird. Uh, we have a maid from a five-star hotel in Orlando. A colleague was so angry about a rude comment made to them that they cleaned the blank with a blank and left it on the blank for the guests to use. So they were mad at the guest that was staying in a particular room? Yes. Man, this is some twisted stuff. Now don't go general, you gotta be specific, man. You gotta go for the guest stuff. What, why are you that? saying that to me? Like I'm not going specific. This is very specific. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. I said, they cleaned the toilet with a washcloth and left it on the rack for the guest to uh, use. Man, that's a really good answer. I misunderstood the question. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I thought that the thing that they they cleaned was the thing they left out, which I said. Maybe it is. Cup with a toilet brush and left it on the counter. Oh. Uh, but I think, I think you're closer to the answer. Toilet brush. Oh. What's the answer? A colleague was so angry about a rude comment made to them that they cleaned the bathroom floor with a towel and left it on the rack for the guests to use. Oh, well that's fine compared to what we were thinking. <laughs> yeah. Well, but this you were pretty, pretty much, you were basically in the right area. I mean, you just you just said toilet instead of bathroom, but obviously that is a better answer than cup, toilet, brush, and counter. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, Emily? Yeah, it's a nice rack there, Link. <laughs> Yeah, you yep. nailed it. Spelled correctly and that everything. That was the correct word. I gotta give it to Link because he got an exact correct word yeah. at least out of three right. That's, spelled <sighs> it correctly, that's it. <sighs> okay, what's the next one? Oh, I got it over here. Okay, corner to my card. Uh, next up is Reddit user Rosalagen. What, we're just, you, you're giving away the name of the person. Okay, Rosalagen on Reddit, y'all. <laughs> Use a towel or sheet on the chairs or sofa. A lot of people blank. It's nasty, but there is often a blank on the desk chair that no one thinks about. <laughs> Use a towel or sheet on the chairs or sofa because a lot of people blank. Is that just one blank right there? The first blank is a few words. Oh. What are you, you're erasing, huh? Well, because I had one word. All right, since I got this one right, I think you should go first. I will originally say that- uh, You will originally say? I will say that I was originally thinking that the answer to the first blank was leak. But then I was told that it was- A lot of people leak. <laughs> but I was, uh. I was told that it was, it was a phrase. So I said, a lot of people make sweet, sweet love on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's nasty, but there's often a cushion on the desk chair that no one think about. Oh, so they're just suggesting another place to make sweet, sweet love? <laughs> no. Because there's a cushion on the chair? Uh, I don't really understand. No. Yeah, I'm saying yes. Don't be ashamed, Th just leave a, it out there. There's a cushion on the desk chair that no one thinks about. All right, mine, mine was some of, I just think a lot of people lounge around naked. It's nasty, but there is often a butt cheek imprint, or just butt imprint on the desk chair that no one think about. So use a towel or sheet on the chairs or sofa. A lot of people sit on them naked. Well, you gotta be it's nasty. naked to make love. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's nasty, but there is often a brown streak on the desk chair that no one thinks about. Oh, a brown streak. Oh. So I got half that right. You got half of that right. Because well, it doesn't matter because you, you, you get Butt cheek is pretty close to brown streak too, though. Yeah. You're more right than me, so you get all the points. Wow. Brown streak that no I'm one knows. I'm getting crushed. Oh, man, now I, now I gotta start looking for brown streaks when I'm lounging around naked. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. Okay, here's the next one. It's a hotel maid who left an anonymous tip on Whisper. I'm a hotel maid. 
I sometimes blank in the blank by the sink, dry them, and leave them there. <laughs> <laughs> wild card. He's a wild card. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think I might have it. I, I, gr grammatically, I can't make sense of this. Well, I sometimes blank in the blank by the sink. Got him? Leave him there. What's that? What, mm, what's not grammatical dry about them? Blank in the blank. But they're dr something that can be dried, so. In the towel. Something that can be dried. So it has to be a towel. <sighs> a blank in the towel. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just go, go with your gut, man. Just go with your gut. You're so far in the lead. You can't really lose. All right, you go first since you think it's right. Uh, I think that hotel maid, again, I'm coming back with my spit answer. They spit in the cups by the sink, dry them and leave them there. Oh, a spit shine. Yeah. Um, I want somebody to spit in a cup, basically is what I'm saying. I put, I'm a hotel maid, I sometimes, you know what, in the towel by the sink, dry them and leave them there. I don't know what, what? In the towels, I'll put towels. Hold on, what are they doing, what's the? You know what, they do in the towels. <laughs> what's the real answer? I'm a hotel maid, I sometimes piss in the glasses by the sink, <laughs> dry them and leave them there. What? <laughs> okay. Well, I got a bodily fluid and the cup, so. You gonna give it to him? Spit, piss, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it to Rhett. Exactly. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm actually glad that you got that one right. Oh, actually, so it's any man's game Wait, at this point, because I got that one right. What's the last one, Can't use Link? the cups. Just don't use the cups, don't use the pillows, don't you, don't even go to a hotel. Why you gotta pee in the cups? All right, our last confession is from another anonymous source on Whisper. About a year ago, I was working at a hotel. I was cleaning a lady's room and I stole a blank she owned. To this day, I still have it and wear it. Yeah, that wasn't weird at all. <laughs> I was cleaning a lady's room and stole a blank. Well, I mean, ladies can wear lots of things. <sighs> they put this one last. I, which makes me think that the answer that I immediately have is not sensational. It's enough. not gonna be like a hat. Right, yeah. Or is it? I don't know, are they throwing us off? I should be more creative than this, but I'm not. Well, since you're not creative, what is your answer? I just said necklace, man. Oh, you just copped out with necklace, man. I think he stole a brazier and oh, wears it gosh. to this day. That's it, man, that's it, Link. About a year, I'm digitally altering my voice so this person <laughs> remains anonymous. You, you gotta keep doing it. About a year ago, I was working at a hotel. I was cleaning a lady's room and I stole a G-string she owned. <laughs> oh. To this day, I still have it and wear it. Well, a G-string. All right, what do you think, Jordan? You get It is underwear. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think Link gets the closest. because Well, his but you can't make a necklace into a G-string, trust me. But. <laughs> All right, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> do it and you get the points. Someone throw, someone throw Rhett a necklace and if he puts it up his butt, he gets the points. <laughs> I'm fine with that, actually. Do it! <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay. I guess that'll have to be on Instagram, along with you cleaning some sort of I don't know. You're doing going on I'm a cleaning I'm joining mission. a local cleaning crew. Right, that's that's going to be documented on our Instagram. That's right. I won, but I'm traumatized. But I think knowledge is power. I'm just never going anywhere ever again. Good. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Chris from White Park, Minnesota, and I'm in the basement of the haunted Palmer House Hotel in Sock Center. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Did he make it out alive? Who knows? The video Click did that. Click the though. top link to watch us guess if a review is for a one star or five star hotel in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Heading outside? Cover your melon with these hats we're selling. Three different styles to choose from now at mythical.store.